Hello everyone. Let us we will see the new point that is development of prism. So this is the problem statement. We have to develop the lateral surfaces of prism. So question is, draw the development of lateral surfaces of triangular prism. So this is we have to develop the triangular prism of base base dimension is given is 40 mm and axis height is this is the height which is given as 60 <coughs> with uh, these dimensions we have to develop the prism lateral surfaces of triangular prism okay very simple so let us we will uh, first of all draw the front view and top view of triangular prism which is given to us so this is the axis first of all i will draw okay and uh, as the side is given 40 okay this is the side so triangular prism is having a three sides having the same dimension that is 40 40 40 okay and height is 16 so let us we will draw a triangular prism suppose this is 6 40 okay so this is a this is b okay again uh, this is 40. So this is C. But as this is prism, so it is also having the base and the top. Okay. <coughs> Just a minute. Okay. So this is the triangular top view of prism. So it is having a base as well as top. So this is, if we see, uh, this is the base dimension, uh, base uh, uh, lettering. Then uh, for the top, we will give that is one, two, and three. ABC for the base and one, two, three for top. Okay, because it is a triangular prism. And uh, you can say this is the center marked as O S because there's also a two point that is the base and the top. <coughs> Let us we will project this all point in the front view and we'll draw the front view. So let us I will do it. Okay, so This is then uh, this is the center. We have given height as 60. So from this axis, height should be 60. Suppose this is 60 up to this. So this is O dash and this is S dash. Okay. Now project this point okay so this is c dash this is a dash and b dash next extend in this line up to parallel to the center line okay and join this. <clears throat> okay. So this is one and two point is there. One dash, two dash. Then uh, this is three dash. This is four dash. So this is, this height is 60. This base is Forty. 
all side are 40 and height is triangular prism height is 60 m okay so this is the front view and top view now we have to develop the lateral surfaces so extend this axis beyond this okay now there is a one term perimeter perimeter is nothing but <coughs> length of side into number of side in this case length of side is 40 into number of this is triangular prism so side is 3 so it is 120 mm so we have to take a distance 120 mm first of all mark this point this is for example this is capital a from a we have to take a scale of 120 mm so of course this is up to this sorry up to this this is 120 this distance is 120 okay now <coughs> divide this 120 into equal part so 120 divided by 3 and uh, suppose this is 1 2 and this is 3 so 1 2 3 okay so this is b c and last one is again a this is nothing but perimeter the distance is perimeter same extend or uh, write a uh, draw a vertical line parallel to this okay take a projection from here And <clears throat> so draw a vertical line. Okay. So this is nothing but lateral surfaces of triangular prism. Very simple problem. I hope you'll understood it. If you have any difficulty, then don't be hesitant. Always welcome. Okay. Okay. Now, next. So let us, we will uh, see now next point that is development of cylinder. So this is the problem statement. Draw the development of surface of cylinder having a base diameter of 50. So base diameter is given 50. Axis height is given 80 mm. Then uh, kept on HP. That cylinder is kept on HP, so horizontal plane. It is cut by the cutting plane. So cutting plane is given, which is inclined at 45 degree with the HP. It is 45 degree with the horizontal plane and by setting the axis of cylinder. So it is by setting the axis into two parts, okay, which is at an angle of 45 degree. So we have to uh, development of lateral surfaces. We have to draw it. <coughs> so let us, we will first of all, draw the front view on top, okay. So, so this is the axis x, y. 
<clears throat> Next, first of all, we will uh, we have given the cylinder base diameter of fifty. So we'll draw the circle of fifty diameter. Okay, next. Uh, okay, let us we will divide it into 12 parts. <laughs> I'm doing it randomly, but you have to make it by taking a proper scale. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, join these all points. Okay. <clears throat> now, let us we will project all these points in the front view. So, this is the center line. We have given the cylinder height is 80. So from this axis, we have to mark a height that is 80. Okay. Next. Let us we will uh, so this is the point. Okay, this one is also may come here. Okay, so this is one dash, then this is. Two dash and eleven dash. Sorry, two and twelve dash. The next one is this eleven. Sorry, three dash and eleven dash. Next, this is four dash and ten dash. Next. This will be seven dash, six dash, and eight dash, then five dash and nine dash. <clears throat> okay, make extend this line. This also, then this. The next, again, extend this line. And last one, this line. Now, as this is 
cylinder so it is also having a base and top so again this is one dash two dash twelve dash three dash eleven dash four dash ten dash five dash nine dash six dash eight dash and last one is seven okay now we have given that it is cut by the cutting plane which is inclined at 45 degree with the hp and bisecting the axis bisecting the axis means total height of this cylinder is 80 so bisecting means from the center okay so for 80 divided by 40 so approximately it will uh, let us first of all bisect in such a manner okay so this is the bisecting point this is the axis suppose this is 40 because bisecting means divided into two part so this is 40 total is 80 <laughs> okay and uh, which is that 45 degree which is given to us with respect to horizontal plane okay so now if we see the direction and this bisecting line they are intersecting at some point so this is p1 dash because this is one number line this is 2 and 12 number line so this is p2 dash 12 dash next one this is 11 that means p dash 3 comma 11 okay next is this is p dash 4 comma 10 then this is p dash 5 comma 9 <coughs> next this is p dash 6 comma Eight and last one is p dash seven. <clears throat> okay. Now let us we will uh, extend this axis ahead. Okay. We'll uh, mark point one here. we have to draw the lateral surface so it is necessary to calculate this distance okay so it is nothing but circumference is equal to pi into d so in this case pi into 50 is equal to 157.07 so from this one point take a scale of 157.07 for example this is here the this point is also 1 1 to 1 157.07 divide this into 12 equal part okay because we have divided this circle into 12 equal part so let us we will divide it 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Last one is one. Okay. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And so this is one. Let us forget it. 
Okay, up to this only. Now, <clears throat> draw a vertical line. Take a projection from here. Draw a vertical line of form of one rectangle. Okay, so let us, we will do it. We will draw the vertical lines from every point. I'm drawing it by freehand, but you have to draw by taking a scale and by using the drafter, pencil, French curve, etc. Okay. Now, This is now. If we see these all intersecting point, okay. Draw a horizontal from each point. Okay, so this is the one number point. So draw a horizontal to one number line. This is one point, so extend it up to one number line only. So this is P1. Next, X, this is P2 and P12. Extend up to two and also 12. So this is two number lines, so up to this. Also 12 number lines, so this is a 12 number line. So extend it up to 12 number line. This is 12. So this is this one point is there P2 and uh, this point is P12. Again, this is P1. So again, this is P1. Last one is also P1. So extend this line up to this. So this is P1. Next, 3 and 11. So extend this line up to three. So this is three. So P3 and 11 is 11. This is the 11. So extend this up to 11. So P11. Next, this is four and 10. So extend up to four. This is four number line. And also P4 and up to 10. So this is 10 number line. So it will come here. So this is P10. Next, this is 5 and 9. So extend up to 5. This is P5 and up to 9. So this is 9, P9. Next, this is six and eight. So extend up to six and up to eight. So this is eight number. So P6, P8. Next, this is seven number. Okay, so extend up to seven. This is seven. P7. So we got this all point up to 12. Join this all point by a strange curve. So our curve start from here, then smoothly it come here. It will go in this way. Okay, next we'll join this point. And up to this. So this is the required curve. Okay, only this curve should be dark. All the remaining points 
should be or all the construction point should be paint one so how to draw this dark just only press the pencil i am uh, rewriting it don't do such thing i am doing it by free hand don't do such thing just only press the pencil while drawing this curve with the help of french curve okay so this is the required answer okay very simple thank you